Hey everyone, hope you all had a great weekend. Thanks for joining me on October 24th. And as always, we are not financial advisors and everything you see on here is for educational purposes only. All right, let's get started with Bitcoin. And as you can see, we dropped, we dropped a little bit more. We actually had a nice reversal overnight. And you know, now it's starting to push back up, but it's starting to actually um, come back down. So Bitcoin's looking to push a little bit more down. You know, it's, we'll see how we close this one, but it's kind of looking to push more down. So this is what we know. We we know we went up, so we went down first. You know, we hit a strong reversal fib down here at like 19.056 area. So we mentioned, hey, if we hold here, we're gonna push back up. We actually pushed all the way back up. So we held strongly and it got a lot of momentum. The whole market just completely pumped. Now we came up, landed on another strong reversal fib at 19.695. So clearly that's going to push everybody back down, which right now we're not doing too bad. Everybody's, uh, well, some are in two, three. So it's, it's a little, it's like kind of whatever. So last night I did mention on our end of our day, like, Hey, we should have kind of like a nice little sideways, nothing crazy, not a dump, but just, you know, another sideways kind of day, but in red. And that's kind of pretty much what we're doing now. Now what's interesting is we're a little bit off the white fib right here. Not white fib, the gray fib at 19244 that could hold and we could push back up you know what i mean like honestly i wish we drop a little more maybe hit the orange fib and then you know push back up um obviously if we keep pushing down there's a lot of resistance here just because of all of this back here so if we drop you know there's still a lot of resistance that could help it push back up because you know for a while now i've mentioned that i could see us do this like you know the big pump we go sideways a little one we go sideways a bit and then we start heading up and we've actually went sideways a bit so this is this would be where it should push back up as a sense of you know following the pattern so if we look at the pattern here like it needs to start pushing back up or I'll, again this would be a failed pattern which lately the patterns have been playing out perfectly until the very end and we'll get that uh we'll get that to We'll get into that shortly. So it this is where it needs to start pushing back up and start hitting up to like 21k. And I'm seeing a couple people with bullish now. Um and like the other half is bearish, so it's kinda of like an in-between, so it's kinda of good. You know, so it's not gonna be like, oh the whole world is saying that you know we're dropping and then we pump. Or the whole world says, Oh, we're gonna go back up now and it's gonna drop. I kinda of see like a little middle, like a 50-50. So hopefully that's good enough so like it doesn't interfere with like the pattern that we have here. So Technically, we want it to hold right now where it's at. So as long as it stays above 19.244, it should push us back, back up tomorrow. When we look at the rest of the alt, like for example, XRP, it's dropped, but it hasn't hit any reversal fib yet. So this is the one of the coins that do concern me because if it's not on a reversal fib yet, that means it's going to drop a little bit more on the next candle. And if it does that, it's going to, you know, it's going to close underneath the trend line again, which it got lucky to push back up, but this time it might not get as lucky and it could drop. Now one could move the trend line down here. Move this over here. And, you know, kind of forming a bigger pattern here. So we'll see how that one holds up. But for now, we're going to leave this here. And right now it is underneath. Now this is pretty much kind of ruining the pattern like we needed to come back up all right I mean, we needed to come back up it, it's holding on but if we drop below obviously we failed the pattern and it drops now this is where it gets kind of interesting how i mentioned a while back it's like you know what we could have done it we could have failed this pattern already like this could have actually played out a little bit smaller like here So this one could also be a failed uh, setup where, you know, we went up, we went up, we went down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then right here, it got rejected. So now it's going to do all of this. Because this is the same scenario where uh, I'm going to skip to EWT where, you know, it played out all the way through where you know we we knew it 
from the top it would come down and go back up kind of go a little sideways for a while and then start to break out but it failed to break out and this is when like bitcoin became super bearish where they kept dropping the market and then pumping it back up but people who were you know fumbling into ewt when it dumped they started getting out and this dropped way too much because we had the idea of how far it would drop so we'll look at this here i'll remove that one it dropped to both of my targets on the white fib the four uh sorry the gray fib 4.27 and 0 0.03 which was this gray area and that's where i put it and it dropped to that but it feels like it dropped too much because if you look at the candle here it should still be on like you know halfway above and like right now we're actually at like a little bit under under the halfway point for this little area so I'm thinking this actually failed as well, so I don't I don't think that's one's gonna actually play out anymore. As in with XRP, you know, if it can hold on, then it'll still be in in play. If we can still hold on, because this one was supposed to be kind of a bit bigger. I'll match it to that. Yeah, because this big old hump right here. So you know that that's kind of what i'm seeing it's like oh maybe it did do the smaller pattern and it failed but this would match up a little bit better because this went a little higher like so like from the body it went a little bit higher so we need to start pushing back up because if we start dropping again it's gonna i'm gonna take the pattern out and that means it's not following it and it could drop it can start dropping back down to this area which is around 0.38 and then maybe even hit our target of 0.30 so we know we know we're gonna eventually touch this, but we thought we would have a nice little pump first and then drop back down. I know Wu Wu says, "Hey, there's supposed to be like some bullish somewhere like I think mid October, uh, mid November or something now. End of October, mid November, and then at the end of November, like dumps or something like that. I'm not too sure how that's gonna play out. But um, looking at the other coins like Algo, not too much. It's a little bit off of the reversal fib H bar." is on a reversal fib at 0 0.0585 so as long as we stay above that it's going to push back up when we uh look at matic matic went up hit a strong reversal fib and if it closes here it's going to drop back down so right now we're going to see a lot of like conflicting like you know once some of the ults are saying this way the rest of the ults are saying this way sorry you might be able to hear my cat in the background so unless matic can break above 0.9086 then it can you know break off of that and still continue to push up but if it holds there it's gonna hold there um, let me look at rose uh, it's a little bit above the you know strong reversal fit but that actually might hold so i will count this as a, as a clue that a might drop back down unless we can break through 0 0.06061 now when we look at shiba it's not holding too well you know it went up it poked through the reversal fibs twice um but it looks like it's holding you know what I mean? so this is where like i've mentioned a few times where it's like well it can it can be a little bit under a little bit over and it still counts so if it holds here and this counts at 8 10 18 technically she would have to drop again tomorrow so she would really needs to reverse or it's not looking really good uh same thing with luna luna went up hit a weak fib came down went all the way back up to do a retest on the weak fib at 24.509 and again it looks like it's failing and dropping back down so if we close this red candle on luna it's going to continue to push down which is good because then it might actually drop back down to this area i like the idea that the pump is further away because right now anything in the pattern that shows a pump seems to be failing so as long as this this pump is like later on towards the towards december i'm okay with that December. Oh, this might be a good Christmas for us. Um, yesterday, I added a little bit of Luna just because, again, it was dropped. Every time I, you know, I wake up and I see some coins are dumped, I'm gonna buy a little bit. You know, that's the whole point of DCA right now. IOTech strong hit a strong reversal fib, so it's doing its red candle now. So I need to see where this red candle closes so I can get a little bit more information. Um, Energy Web Token not giving me too much. It's kind of going sideways. Adam. It's a little bit short, but it might still count at 12.25, uh, 20, yeah, 20, or oh, 205. So I don't want to say 25, people think it's 25, but 12.205. If it closes below that, it should drop. And because this is a red candle, it's going to, 
it would cause another red candle. When we look at near, also on a strong reversal fib at 3.018. So if we close here, it's going to make another red candle tomorrow. Uh, Avalanche, not on anything, so it's a good sign, so it could still push back up. Phantom on a strong reversal fib at 0 0.02113. So if we can't break above that, tomorrow will be another red candle. Ethereum went up, you know, hit the... Um, let me remove that second silver. Hit a strong reversal fib at 1369. It actually broke through a little bit, but again, it's still counting. So we would technically have to break above 1372 for this to continue to push back up. Right now, it's holding and it's dropping. I need to figure out where, or not figure out, but I need to find out where this is going to close or wait until this closes so I can get a little bit more info to see if it's going to hold above the trend line and start pushing back up. But as of right now, this one technically counts so this would be its red so it's already doing its red candle it doesn't signify another one like some coins do um like data data i'm gonna remove this data's on, a, on an okay reversal fib at point one point zero two eight so it's doing its red candle now so this one doesn't signify another one unless this unless this red candle was on the fib line uh, when we look at zill you know it broke over this one broke over a little too much to make it count. So Zill, we don't, Zill's kind of like in the middle, like it can still go up or down. Uh, Doge, not too much info here. It's not any reversal fits, so it can push back up. Soul, you know, went up. Let me remove this. So it came down to an orange fifth, then it went all the way back up to an orange fifth again. And this is where, I mean, like if it's a red candle and it's on a strong reversal fifth, that means the next candle will be red. So based on all the information I see, like it's, there's a little bit more coins signaling that like, hey, we're on a strong reversal fit. We should head back down. But the day is still pretty young. We still got to go like 10 hours to go. If that, 10 or more. So a lot of things could change, you know. As of right now, things kind of hint more towards, hey, we should also drop back down tomorrow. So that would make another red candle here. So it'd be like this scenario here where we drop today and then we drop tomorrow. That's the next one. doesn't mean like, oh, we're going to dump tomorrow. But tomorrow will be another red. And that would be just more sideways movement. So it's kind of boring when it's going sideways. We like, I really wanted to just start finally going back up, knock out this 21. And then we can see, hey, are we going to drop back down or not? I showed an interesting video of Crypto University, how they're, you know, some guy discovered, you know, just doing the math and how it equals to either we've already hit our bottom or 13 something is the bottom so that's kind of cool in a sense of like I don't mind having a few more months of still buying these coins cheap because again we are due like for a breakout right we've been in this triangle for a while and look it's getting it's getting tighter and tighter so like it's about to squeeze and pop one way or another these are the scenarios where we would be here Right, like this is like right before it, it pumped or dumped, right, right before it dumped or pumped, right before it pumped or dumped, you know, right before it pumped or dumped. So, this is due for a breakout upward or downward. So, we know there's a move coming. Pattern shows up, you know, the math that they did was pretty interesting and I like about it because, again, th that kind of falls like into numerology, you know, based off like using numbers, how to figure things out which is kind of what we use to, you know, get our target. So that's going to be pretty interesting. But, you know, just be ready for a breakout. If we head back up, then I'm I'm cool with that because I have been dollar cost averaging. Obviously, I would wish for it to continue to either go. As much as I don't want the sideways, I, I kind of little, I low-key kind of do a little bit because I can keep buying. Or if it dumps down to the 13, which is like around this next support, right? Remember how we mentioned we had a target of 19 and 14? Uh these are just support. These are not our target. So it would be nice because, again, I'm dollar cost averaging. I want to buy it cheaper, but I also don't want to get left behind, which is why I'm dollar cost averaging. And I'm not waiting to see like, oh, well, I'm going to wait to see if it hit 13. No, I'm, I'm going to buy now because I made that mistake of like, you know, going 100% woo woo. And they were telling me the, on, in 2020, like, oh, it's going to dump back down. It's going to dump back down. Don't worry. It's going to, you know. It's like, oh, well, everything's going to dump 50%. Let me get out. That's the worst mistake I've ever done. 
I would have been a lot be in a lot better place if I didn't if I just held my coin. So that's why for me it's really important for this group to like you know what I know some people are waiting for lower numbers, but please have some bags for now just in case. But with that said, you know we should be we should be due out for a breakout soon. Um, either way it goes, I'm okay with because one I've been dollar cost averaging already, and as you can see we've only gone sideways, so it's not too bad. Two, if it does dump. I'm okay with that. I rather I prefer that one just because again I want to buy more. There's a lot of other coins that I still want to get. You know I want to have big bags of like at least 10, maybe 15 coins. Um, I got pretty decent bags of like eight of my coins, but there's still two more that I want. Like I still want to get a little bit more of a uh, Atlas. Uh, I want to get a few other coins. I don't know if I want to do like avalanche phantom or near or one of those i'm not too sure because they are at really good prices you know but we'll see we'll see how everything goes um you know most people already know which coins i have so i don't have to go over that but other than that um i got a busy morning today i got a lot of things i got scheduled today so i'm not gonna do like no ads for for the monday show so i'm not too worried about that and other than that, I'll see everybody on Discord, and I'll keep everybody updated as we go. But just as a quick little uh, review, based on what the coins are telling me, you know, they're on reversal fit, so we should technically drop again tomorrow, unless we can push back up and break through those fibs. And remember, we've been breaking some of those fibs lately, and we've been having nice little pumps. So if we break those, we could have a nice pump today. As far as uh, Fed news, I don't think, I'm not too sure there's anything important today. Um, you know, Joey usually reaches out and lets me know. He's really, he's on top of that. So if, if he does, I'll make sure I let everybody know on the Discord. All right, I'll see you guys there.